What's good, everybody? Hey, welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling with me, AB. Now, you guys read the title, you know what I'm making. I'm getting ready to show you guys just how easy it is to make honey garlic chicken wings. Okay, now we're gonna go over some of the ingredients. Okay, we got honey, that's a half a cup. Soy sauce, we're using two tablespoons. And also, for you guys that are new to watching my channel, if you notice that every time I pick up an ingredient, the name comes up along with the quantity. And if you look down in the description box below the video, you'll see that I have a full ingredient list. That way you can just, you know, copy it and paste it, and then you can print it out if you would like. Okay, coming back to the ingredients, you know, that's chicken wings. That was two pounds to two and a half pounds of our chicken wings. Then we got salt, which is a one tablespoon, excuse me, one teaspoon. Then we got olive oil. You know, uh, it says one teaspoon. What you want to do is you just want to pour it on your, your chicken and just get it all coated. And that's going that's like the little binder that's going to help hold the, uh, the the pepper and the salt onto it. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to preheat our oven. First thing you want to do is set it for 400 degrees and then, you know, let it come up to the uh, temperature. Now, you take your uh, you take your chicken wings, go ahead, drizzle a little bit of that, you know, olive oil on there. And then go ahead and get your uh, pepper. I'm using, a, you know, a grinder right there. Nothing like that fresh ground uh, pepper. Go ahead and add that, and then we're gonna add our salt on top of that, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our hands. If you guys been watching my videos, you'll see that I like to use my hands, you know, to do a lot of mixture. I got these big hands, so let's go ahead and put them to use. Now, just wanna get everything coated. And listen, you're not gonna get it all coated the way you like it, so I went, washed my hands, cleaned up, then I went ahead and then reheat it with that pepper. Just, I like to see the pepper on all of the chicken. Now, go ahead, now we're gonna get ahead, go ahead and set up our next station which is real simple. We're just gonna use a, a baking pan. You know, we got that cooling rack on top and that's a pro tip, you guys. Put some of that foil down. Listen, it'll help you with that cleanup. It makes it real, real simple and easy. Now, just go ahead and align them, you know, on there. Make sure they got a little space. I probably could have got 20 of uh, these chicken wings on there, but I got them, you know, spaced out like, you know, that I was only making 12. Now this recipe right here, I make 20 wings. And obviously if you want to double it, we just double it and that'll get you 40. Now, put them in the oven. We're going to put them in there for 40 minutes. And then what we're going to do is we're going to turn them halfway through. So half of the 40 is 20. So after 20 minutes, we want to bring them out. And this is what they should look like. Now, I know everybody's uh, oven is going to be different. It depends on the altitude, you know, what type of, uh, you know, setup you have. If it's electric, is it gas in there, however it's working. What I want to just say is, listen, you turn them over. And again, I'm big on that pepper. That pepper brings a nice taste. You guys got to really discover that pepper. You know what? I just coated them just a little bit more, put them back in the oven for the remainder of the 20 minutes. Now, you guys see that? That right there, that's that parsley. What I'm doing is, this is all for garnish. You know, it just uh, makes it look better. You know, it's just for me, I just love it when it have that, you know, whatever color you have on there and it pops with that green. All right, now, we on our last 20 minutes. It should only take you like, you know, one or two minutes to, you know, do your, uh, your garnish. Now what we're doing is we're making our honey garlic sauce. Listen, put it in a saucepan, just like you see right there. Go ahead, it's no particular order. I just started with the honey and worked my way down with the rest of the ingredients. Now that, I'm just showing you right there, that little medium, you know, medium slash medium low, you know, heat. I just wanted you guys to see that. So now I'm coming with the soy sauce. Then right there, we got that, uh, listen, that's that minced uh, garlic. Then we gonna come back with that fresh ginger. Hey, look, you know, it's just real simple. Just try to keep it as easy as possible. And that's what it is, simplifying these recipes. When you lay out your ingredients and you have everything at the ready, when you when it comes time to add, it just makes it simple. Now, after putting the, you know, the pepper in there, I turned it down just a little bit because we don't want it to like just start boiling. You know, those of us that got experience with, you know, with this honey and that soy sauce, know that it's just bubble. As you guys gonna see in just one second. Let me go ahead and use the right word. We just gonna call that, hey, we just gonna say boil. Now, I just wanna see it start. Look at the left side of the uh, pan. You can see it starting to work its way from the edge right there and it's starting to go. Listen, the key is keeping your eye on it. And don't forget, we're on our last 20 minutes. Once I got a boil like that, and that was kind of high, you know what I mean? I just, if you notice, I adjust the heat throughout as I'm cooking. That's another pro tip. Listen, you gotta stay on your heat. You know, sometimes it gets high, you gotta bring it down. When it's too low, you gotta bring it up. And don't forget, I've been trying to tell everybody, we gotta taste, you know, in different uh, stages of it. This right here is just, a hey, automatic. That's what you wanna see, and we know that tastes good. All right, now, after the, you know, your timer went off, we threw it the whole 40 minutes. That's what it looks like. I just went ahead, and listen, this is key. Everything is still nice and hot and warm. 
it's gonna make a difference because once we put that honey garlic sauce on top we need every you know you need your chicken to be warm and you need it to you know get onto the chicken and then that way it helps it you know like coat other than that that sauce gets as it cools it starts to get sticky and it won't you know uh i guess we just say it won't spread as easily now chicken hot and you can see look how much that has uh that honey garlic sauce is thickened up so you know what everything is all in time and that's why i saved this to show that like in the last 20 minutes really in the last 10 minutes should get you that but you can see how thick it is right now now i just took that little small spatula right there and you can see because it, the chicken was hot it just helped spread it and that right there oh man it's got my mouth watering you know really just looking at it and i can just tell you this listen that's a whole lot of goodness you know what you obviously you want to have a bigger bowl if you got 40. you know what i mean that way you can do as much as possible and that's the reason why i didn't do it in the uh in the air fryer nothing like that which you can no problem how you make your wings is how you want to make them but one thing about the oven you can put you know three or four sheets in there and you can do all the way up to 120 wings in just 40 minutes so with that being said now i'm plating you can just see that right there and you can see some of the drips right there letting you know that everything is still nice and hot once everything is coated you just want to put them on a platter and you want to serve them listen you ask me they best serve when they hot we're gonna start off just make yourself some regular you know just crispy you know neck your wings then you can go ahead and do the traditional lemon pepper wings and then you can add this also these honey garlic chicken wings hey listen they go very very good together it's football season you're talking about putting something out now you see i just made 12. now these are kind of like big you know what you can probably get 20 out of this so i say double the recipe i did them in the oven just so you guys can uh, see and it's very very time consuming there's not a whole lot of you know seasoning you have to do just hit it with a little olive oil you know pepper salt put them in the oven you're probably going to use two sheets other than that listen you saw how easy it is to make you're talking about delicious these are it and with that being said i want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below hey do you guys even like sweet and sticky wings hey just let me know hey with that being said let me just go ahead and take the time to say if you're new to my channel hey welcome to my channel don't forget to subscribe like this video and let everybody out there know that there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking hey i'm out of here you guys peace